Tonight, bracing for impact, North Queensland lies in wait as Cyclone Debbie closes in on the coast. A lot of people have left, um, but some of the old diehards like us are still here. So. <laughs> We're a bit worried about coming back and not having much left here. Lives could be lost. Authorities issue a desperate warning to residents, get out while you can. Please listen to the authorities. I do, you must as well. Everyone must listen because we want people to be safe. And the threat of Debbie's aftermath has cities further afield preparing for the worst. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Georgina Lewis. Good evening. Tropical Cyclone Debbie is tonight making her final move towards the North Queensland coast and her sights are set firmly on the seaside town of Bowen. Packing 240 kilometre an hour winds, the system is expected to be upgraded to a severe Category 4 by the time it delivers its punch tomorrow morning. First to Christina Castalis, who is in Bowen. Christina, what are conditions like at the moment there? Well, Georgie, the weather has been deteriorating all day, especially this afternoon. Right now, it's really eerily quiet, much like a ghost town. But earlier today, residents, business owners and emergency services were preparing. And tonight will be their last opportunity to get organised. Well, because tomorrow, 15 hours, it'll be well and truly too late. For days, Debbie has menaced the North Queensland coast. Now her eye is set firmly on Bowen and the tiny towns that dot the coastline around it. Her power to destroy has locals on edge. Get out while you can. Yeah, and for those zones, the red, orange and yellow zones in Bowen, the red, orange zones in uh, the rest of the, the area, um, should be out already. Others were more than willing to ride out the storm. Banks were boarded up. So too were the bottleos. Most important thing in town. <laughs> While at the evacuation centre, it was all supplies go. Enough food, water and shelter for more than 700 people. So you're not coming in? No, no, mate, no, no, no. Unfortunately for many of them, they're all too well aware of what Mother Nature can bring. Others can only begin to imagine. I'm afraid the house is going to get blown down. Just a little over an hour north, air is prepared. There's no room for complacency in a town fully aware it still stands a chance of copying the brunt of this cyclone's might. Tons of sandbags have been laid. Windows have been taped shut, signs also removed. I think everyone will be concerned. Car yards have been emptied as vehicles are moved to shelter. Well, it can come out a worse time, you know, um, things have been a bit tough. While police pound the pavement, making sure every resident knows the threat that looms. The old girl next door said she might be taken off, yeah. Now they wait. Once the winds reach 100 kilometres an hour, there will be no emergency services to assist you. Military manpower has moved in, delivering desperately needed supplies as choppers hover above. Up the road at Alva Beach, it's not so much the cyclone that's of concern, but the storm surges it'll bring. Well, this is to stop the storm surge. Um, the, the tides at the moment, because it's a, a new moon, I'm, I think are very, very high. While they were warned to leave, few have chosen to stay. The police came around yesterday and advised us and we're, we were going, we're packed ready to go. But if it gets worse, then we'll go. But if not, we've decided to stay. It's eerily quiet at Kangala. Most residents there heeded the advice and wasted no time leaving their homes and their lives behind. Battling down, nailing the windows shut and hope for the best. Just when they'll be able to return and what they'll be coming home to remains in the hands of Debbie. Christina Castalis, 10 Eyewitness News. Tens weather expert Josh Holt is also in Bowen for us this evening. Josh, what are the next few hours likely to bring? Good evening, Georgie. With well, the weather situation here in Bowen will worsen considerably overnight and into the early hours of tomorrow morning. Right now, we're getting rain bands shearing off the eye of the cyclone. You'll get some very strong winds and heavy We are expecting Debbie to make landfall at around about 9 a.m. local time here in Bowen. That will also coincide with the high tide, which is expected at around about 9.45 in the morning. Now, at the moment, you may be able to see behind me, it's low tide. But as we get through tomorrow morning, this area will be filled with 
with ocean and no doubt it will be spraying over the foreshore here and possibly inundating properties that line this area of Bowen and that's why evacuations have taken place right throughout today right across this region of Queensland but of course we'll have further weather updates on this severe weather system coming up shortly in the bulletin Georgie. Thank you Josh we'll speak to you again soon. And as Josh mentioned, authorities here in Brisbane are warning one of the biggest threats from Cyclone Debbie will be the huge storm surge that could inundate low-lying coastal areas. To help residents prepare, the evacuation area has been widened to stretch from Air to Mackay. Tegan George has the details. From the nerve centre in Brisbane, authorities are preparing for the worst. As we can see, this is going to be a severe cyclone. It's increasing in intensity. Thousands of people have been evacuated from the main area of concern, stretching from... Uh, up to 200 millimetres will be widespread. The main coal terminal at Abbott Point, also a concern. Look, we do expect that there will be, uh, could be a big impact there. Fuel and three freight trains of food have been brought in for the aftermath. 800 power workers are on standby, so too the Defence Force, with HMAS Chules deployed from Sydney for support. And uh, in particular the ADF, who are pre-positioning assets already to assist in the response. Elective surgeries have been cancelled, while schools between Townsville and Proserpine are also closed, as preparations are made to make everyone in the area as ready as they can be. And Tegan joins us now from EMQ headquarters. Tegan, what is the latest? Well, Georgie, this is where the Premier and her ministers have been meeting with government authorities for the latest information about Cyclone Debbie. And right now I am joined by the Premier of Queensland, Anastasia Palaszczuk. Thank you for your time, Premier. Can you tell us the latest on this storm surge that's likely to impact Mackay? Well, Tegan, I've got a very clear message to the families of Mackay uh, this evening. If you are in those areas identified by your council as likely to be inundated by a tidal surge between 0.8 and 2.5 metres, you must... The sheer size of Cyclone Debbie means her reach will be felt far further than just the storm's eye. As the system closes in, the threats of flooding and tidal surges grow, putting tens of thousands of people on notice. Brendan Savage has more. The early wrath of Cyclone Debbie captured by those in her path. Strong wind gusts began to buff at Mackay late today as the outer band of the cyclone moved in. There was a rush to close local shops, the council warning all those in low-lying areas to brace for flooding. Hamilton Island is also directly in the path of Debbie. What we're requesting of you all is please do not be complacent. Don't be a hero, don't try and get out there. Many were keen to heed the warnings. Boats tied down, outdoor furniture dragged inside, or thrown into the swimming pool. Police have issued a timely reminder, which in coming days may become relevant for much of the state. Stay away from flooded waters. Brendan Savage, 10 Eyewitness News. Stay with us. We'll have today's other news after the break.